Hi guys, this is a new update, number 36. I filmed this yesterday and for some reason I didn't upload. I had all the DVDs. I'm not going to do that again, DVDs, no. I can't be bothered getting off the shelf. I've catalogued them and I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do the Blu-rays tonight. And first off is, first off is my thoughts. Wishing all the people in Florida all the best. And be safe. Especially Denoy living in the van channel hope you're safe mate right so let's crack on first up is a package from twilight time well twilight time screen icons because on twilight time the items sold out but on screen icons dot com it's still available and it's on sale so we're not going to use mr knife because i don't want to get demonetized so it's going to be the old way of ripping open Mr. Knife has retired. So, this is from all the way from America. The rubber wrap. And in a double pack as well. So that's double packaged. Let's see what they are. Let's give it closer so you can see. Should put down mm. over. First of all. Is the three D version of Miss Sadie Thompson. Now this is Aldo Ray mm -hmm. and Rita Hayworth film, and it has Charles Bronson in the start of the film quite a lot. This was his, I think, it's about his third or fourth. It's not. He's not cast. He's not in the in the credits. It's an early role. His first role in the film was 1951, and you you in the Navy now. But this is Miss Sadie Thompson from 1953. Open it up. So it just like now this film was banned in a few U.S. states when it first came out in the 50s because of that. Dance in the film. I've only watched the first 10 minutes of this. Just to trust it worked. Works perfect, region free. Rated, um, it's limited to 3,000 units. And Charles Bronson was in it quite a lot in the first 10 minutes. Next up is another, I say, Charles Bronson film, but it's not really a Charles Bronson film. It's an Elvis Presley film. That Charles Bronson is in it quite a lot, and that is Kid Galahad. He plays a boxer, and Charles Bronson is his mentor. And it's from 1962, and Charles Bronson is credited in this film, but under his no, yeah, and his real name. I'm sorry. This film, he's credited under his original surname. Roshinsky, not Bronson. This one he's credited as Bronson. And it's a bigger part. But in this one, you do see Bronson in his prime. You see him coming out of the sea topless with all his muscles. So ladies, if you like Bronson, that's the one to watch out the sea. This one is a good film. I quite like it. I don't like Elvis. I've never really watched Elvis. I'm not into these sort of sub, um, films where you are walking down the street and you suddenly burst into song. It's not real life. But because Bronson's in it, I quite like it. That's Kid Galahad on Twilight Time, limited to 3,000 copies. Next up is. Oh, sorry. Michael Caine. Morgan Freeman. Going in style. There's a slip color. Exactly the same underneath. I wish they would put different artwork on the box. A slip color. Exactly, what's the point of having exactly the same? Useless. No point at all. Going in style. They play at the. They rob the bank. 
that's robbed them of their pension and there's the escapades what happens afterwards then there is that like, watch this though it's still sealed daddy's home with will, will farrell no idea on me Not the point the uncut version of meet the spartans this is from the pound shop the boss's baby love this film this is no one for the pound shop i ain't even caught what it's called let's have a look at it the amazing adventures of the living corpse i've never seen that i've heard of that before okay so i understand it's a horror it's a horror looks like a horror animation so let's see if you can see it focus the underground gra hit graphic novel so it looks like an animation never seen this film before so oh, I'll check it out it's, it is actually a film it's 84 minutes long so I'll have to check this out I haven't got a clue what it is looks good though next up is a double pack of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Volume 2 I haven't got the first one so I thought I'd get this because it was only £20 for two I did think about getting one of them big sleeve editions you know like ones i got above my head there of um beauty and the beast and the rogue one on the other side up there but 25 quid i'm not paying that just for a blooming cardboard sleeve and a disc i know it'll go up in price to about 40 50 quid on ebay but hey stuff it i'm only collecting what i want to watch now and this was quite good like a box set Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One and Two. I haven't opened it yet, so can't tell you what the f I actually watched the films. The first one's been on TV. There's no digital copy on this. No, no digital copy. No, never is on Disney. Next up is Al Pacino, Alan Wa Christopher Walken film, Stand Up Guys. This is another one of pound round DVDs, uh, Blu-rays for a quid. Al Pacino looks mean there. Now, this one. I'm not sure if this one is supposed to have an outside sleeve or what, but this is the 30th anniversary of Blade Runner, the Digibook. I bought this from CX, and this is how it came just like a cardboard case like this. It's an American version. One disc there. It's got a graphic novel artwork it's got an artwork book there there's no text in it there's no text in any of this it's all just say pictures hard to show you sorry some I'm, I'm right hand i'm left-handed artwork different kinds of artwork different ones of different kinds of artwork of the film then it comes with two more discs so it's a three disc set, not a five disc set. And that's all it does. There's no instructions on it telling you what's on what or nothing like that. So I don't know if they're supposed to have an outer case that goes over this. I don't know. But well, I bought it like this. And it is a three disc set with five different cuts of the film. It's five. It's got the original American theatrical cut. It's got the original, stronger, violence cut from Europe, which has got more violence than the American version. It's got the director's cut. It's got the final cut. And it's got the works print cut. Which has got each different, each, each one has got different bits added to it. Like the works print has got different material than the final cut. There's a the bit, bit at the beginning when the interview's going on and he asks him about his mother. And he says, My mother? I'll tell you about my mother. And he shoots him under the table. And the guy shoots off across the room, goes through a wall, 
hits the computer desk. In all the, most of the cuts, as soon as he hits the computer desk, it cuts off. On the work print, it actually shows him his head moving all over the computer keyboard for ages, for about another two seconds before it cuts off. And some versions have got the commentary by Harrison Ford on, and other versions haven't got the commentary. Some have got the unicorn scene, others haven't. So whatever your version of Blade Runner you like, it'll be on this. I, myself, I prefer the version that I was brought up on, on Home Video, which was the original UK version, which is the, the violent version, basically. And then followed by the final cut, because that's the one the director has approved, finally approved. That's the version I like, he likes. That's the version he wanted to make in the first place. So that's the version I want to watch. So that is, sorry, rambling on. Bloody Runner. I love this film. I can't wait to see the sequel. I don't know how they're going to match this. I don't know, but. I'll give it a go. Sealed all copy of Goodfellas. I think I've already got this in the De Niro Blu-ray box set. I'll have to have a check. If I have, I'll flip it on eBay. Now this one, I also bought from CX. And it was quite cheap. It was £15. Now it is the complete collection of Chucky. It's the American release, not the British crappy release. This is the American release. It's got Child's Play, rated R, Child's Play 2, rated R, Child's Play 3, Child, uh, Bridge, Bride of Chucky, Seeds of Chucky, and it's got two versions of The Curse of Chucky, the R-rated version and the uncut, the, the not, not rated uncut version. The first one is an MGM film, and all the others are universal. This comes out in a box like this. And you've got this Chucky collection. You've got all Chucky discs there. Oops, time. The first film, there's a back, there's Chucky there, look. And all the special, there's all the special features on each disc. I'm sorry that you can't actually read what special features are. But all them are special features. And this also comes. Oh, all the discs have fallen out. So I'm going to quickly put these discs back in before you stop watching this video. Right. This is a digital copy of The Curse of Chucky. Now, as this is an American set, I predict that this may only work in America. May only work in America. So, if you're in America or Canada and you want to watch Curse of the Chucky, here's the code. Pause the video. Pause the video if you can. And there's the code JKKYWPX6P3JY. Sorry, it's. Yeah, you should be able to get that. Oh, that's it. No guarantee that it works. That's Chucky, complete collection. Well, it's complete until the new one comes out. Next up is Richard Gear in the double. There he is there in the back, grey haired guy. And Martin Sheen see next to him. Then Abraham Lincoln's versus zombies. Civil War a zombie film. Very strange. Reasonable doubt with Samuel Jackson, another pound and Blu-ray. Then this is another Blu-ray that I've got to try and compete my complete my James Bond Blu-ray. And that is from Russia with Love. I've got quite a few of them, I've got them all, but a fair few. Next lot. 
Ghost in the Shell. Scarlett Johnson. That slip cover. Beautiful slip cover. Is it the same underneath? You bet your dollar it is. At least it's a shiny. Then there's Saving Private Ryan. I thought I had this, but obviously I only had it on DVD, so I upgraded it to Blu ray. Horrible Bosses. Again, this is a Poundland Blu ray. It says it's a replay, which means second hand, but it's not. It's brand new, factory sealed. And you can tell when a Blu ray is brand new because the Blu ray sticker that comes over the barcode is on the outside when they're new. So you can peel them off and sell them as new. When it's second hand, that sticker is underneath the, the clean film where they reseal it to stop you selling second hand ones as new. I haven't got a clue what that one is. Appaloosa. I haven't got a clue. Never seen it before. Jeremy Irons. Ed Harris. Indiana Jones and the... What is it? Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The Darkest Hour, again the pound Blu-ray. All oh, these I won't be keeping, I'll just watch it and I'll flip them if they're any good, if they're crap. World on Fire. Die Hard 2, Die Harder. I bought this for the sake of the bonus disc. See if it's the same as the... I've got the complete film, I've got a complete box set on my shelf. I want to see if the special features are the same on them discs they're on these. But this film, when it first came out in the UK, this film was cut to shreds. The eyes seen with the icicles cut out. There was quite a lot of stuff cut out of it. Then they released the film on VHS, rental, and it was cut out of that. Sell through, cut out. Then they released a widescreen version on VHS, and that was an 18, and it was uncut. And ever since then, they've been releasing the uncut one. But for, for many years, the only version you could get was a 15 cut down certificate. Got Die Hard 2. Don't get me going about Die Hard 3, the way they released that first on DVD when it was all cut down to a PG-13. Next up is... Macruba. Gruba, even. I haven't got a clue. A lot of these, like, like I said, are Poundland Blu-rays. That must probably be a crap. But hmm. another Nicolas Cage film, Dying of the Light. But this he plays a CIA or an FBI agent who's getting dementia, losing his mind, and he's trying to track down a killer before he can't do it again. Cedar Rapids. I haven't got a clue what that crap is about. Let's turn about that. Alan Carr, sexy beast, stand-up comedian. UK people know about him, but America, you won't know what he is. He's just a stand-up comedian. Another Bond film, Thunderball. Whatever Happens in Vegas, Blu-ray. I have got a clue what this one is. E. Colon, with Martin Sheen again. Harrison Ford and Brad Pitt, The Devil's Own on Blu-ray. Great film, I, like that. I quite like that one. And last up on Blu-ray, the classic Stephen King's It. This is the TV version. Or oh, the, the three hour version. Cut into two parts. It's got a document, it's got a commentary by Tommy Lee Wallace. Now that's the last of the Blu rays. I did have some DVDs. 
I'm not going to get them out again because they're all on shelves, but I will tell you it's a two disc version of The Deer Hunter and Al Pacino's Needle in the Park and a couple of other crap. So until next time, I hope this I hope this video has got better quality. I'm getting a new computer, so that should up the quality, I think, anyway, because the camera is a top of the range HD camera, but to me it looks all like bitty. So I just hope it's the blooming the computer that's doing it. Anyway, till next time. Be safe and Florida, we love you. Bye.